Good morning, everyone. Today is our day four in Taiwan, and we have two itineraries for today. First stop is to go to Chiang Kai Shek Memorial Hall, and I'm waiting for the bus here to arrive. There's the bus. Come join me and let's hop in. I got off from the bus station, and I'm currently walking towards the Memorial Hall. And now we see the entrance to the Memorial Hall. As I'm walking, I'm seeing quite a number of people who are visiting today. And before I go to the main hall. I'll take a really good and cool picture of me in front of it. It's kind of awkward posing by myself, but I think it really looks nice. Now we're in. The first thing I'm seeing is an exhibit of Doraemon, which I didn't really pay attention to. So let's try to explore more about this place. When you turn right, the first thing that your eyes will see is a big picture or painting of Chiang Kai-shek giving a speech to his people. Then I see this picture, and I thought that the person on the right looked very familiar. As the information states, Chang visits the president of the Philippines, Elpidio Quirino, in Baguio on July 10, 1949. A joint statement was later issued, conforming an alliance among all Far Eastern countries against communism. That's a bit of a history review. <laughs> After exploring around the hall, now it's time to go to another place. See you some other time, Chiang Kai Shek. From here, we're walking to Ren Ai Xiaosheng Street to go by bus for our next trip. Just a little tip if you plan to travel by bus here in Taiwan. Some buses do not stop at the station if you really do not give them a signal by waving your hand. I've experienced some before during this trip. Anyway, the second thing that I'll be doing for today is going on a tour. It's like a half day tour. It's kind of chill, relaxing and there's really not much a lot of walking so i'm going to shiding tea township i'm not sure if i pronounce it right but what i know is that taiwan is very popular because of their you know milk tea and i got curious about their tea plantation so that's where i will be heading to today i booked this tour via cloak and right now, I'm heading towards 
our meeting place, but I'm a bit early. Our tour group will meet at one, and I think it's still okay. I'm just gonna try to find something to eat for lunch. This is our meeting place, but again, it's so early. So, hmm, what can I eat for today? There are Seven Eleven and Moss Burger. Hmm, maybe I should try Moss Burger. Wow, the first thing I notice here is that this food chain employs senior citizens. Okay, now it's time for lunch. For today's tour, we are only a small group, and we have different nationalities. We have two Singaporeans, two Germans, of course I'm Filipino, and our tour guide. His name's David. It's a sunny and warm, nice temperature today. I've heard that last week, Taiwan's temperature was really bad. It was raining, but now it's completely good. Now you see that these rows of plants are actually where they get the tea leaves. Now this is quite a view of this place. What is this lake again? Oh, the Southern Island Lake. Southern Island yeah. Lake. Actually, because uh, we only see part of the, the lake behind this mountain, I and mean, behind the mountain, there are also water everywhere. They submerge all the valley around this mountain. We are here with a tea shop owner. And our main objective for today's activity is that we will be introduced to Taiwanese tea, and our tea master here will teach us on how to properly brew tea to bring out its flavors. He said uh, tea is very good for skin. Keep the skin uh, fair and uh, in uh, very healthy. And he said, you look at himself. He's 70 years old. 
Look at the skin. Looks like 80 years old. <laughs> no, actually, yeah. They really help for the tea, really help for the tea. Really the tea. Really the tea. Really the tea. <laughs> it's a bad aroma of tea. Okay. And the short one is for drinking. For our time, we will show you the taste of the tea. Okay, so we have two cups. One is for smelling, one is for drinking. <laughs> About the aroma of tea, you have to smell it when it's tea is still warm. Also, after it cools down, you also smell it. A good tea is a, the aroma is good when it's hot, and the better when it cool down, even better. If a tea is a the smell changed, they become not so good after it cool down, but it's not a good thing. Fruit are the best, most tasty. And uh, after that, it'll break the meat, it's going to change. Not too strong. Uh, Hawaii is a little bit more special. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I for this activity, and if you want to join this in the future, you'll be trying out three different kinds of Taiwanese tea. Then our tea master here will try to explain the differences between the three. And if you have questions about anything regarding tea, he can answer all of them. It was also good that we have our tour guide because he's the one who's able to translate everything into English. What he just did, he's just trying to explain that this is a proper way to drink tea. It's like slurping. He says that it's similar to drinking coffee, beer, or wine. Just right after you drink tea, you have to rub the teacup between your palms because it can help, you know, circulate blood.
Did I can, yeah, thank you. Do you like it? Yeah, you can see it. Wow, what do you know? I really didn't know that this was going to be a long drinking session. If this was beer, you could probably get drunk. Okay, please. Anyway, this is our photo with our tea master. Okay, so this is actually how leaves are processed to become tea. This museum shows a lot of information, anything about tea, you know, tea information. <laughs> And this part of the museum shows a cabinet of curious containers. Thank you for watching episode 4, CKS Memorial Hall and Shuding Tea Township with me, Fan. Please do follow me on Instagram and YouTube. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>